Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl by a lot party heaven. Welcome guys. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And um, please remember to subscribe before you leave this space. Anyways, guys, so this is a short video to show you how I um use a logo on balloons. Um, basically how I use my silhouette machine to cut a company's logo to personalize if I'm asked to do something for a company. So this one was for I saw it first and they wanted the their logo on a three foot balloon so all I did was to ask them to send me the um, the logo so they sent it to me in a PNG format so I had to change it to an SVG format so that I could cut it on my silhouette cameo 4 so what I did was I saved the 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 file on my computer and then after saving it i opened the file as you can see the file is opened right there but you can't cut it straight up like that you have to change it to an svg and you can do that with the silhouette studio i'm not sure you could do it with the quick i think you can do it with cricut too but you would have to pay for it also i don't know um anyway so what i did was once i opened it i went on to the panel section at the top of my studio you would see a panel or um panel section and then i clicked on trace after I clicked on trace, as you can see, you can see that like I am trying to like trace the design. I have done this before because I had to do like, I think it was a, another logo. No, yeah, I had to do like a Peppa Pig kind of um, thingy on a balloon. So I had to do the same. I had to change it because I downloaded that from the internet and I had to change it into an SVG. So I went to the panel section, clicked on trace, and then I went straight to trace. Um, and then you can see the, just click on um, select trace area, uh, which I've done. And that's why I have that yellow bit. So that's, that, that has traced it out. And uh, then once I have that yellow bit, then I click on, um, if I wanted it to solid fill, or if I wanted to outline it, obviously I want a solid fill because of that um, lip section in the design. So I solid filled, filled it and then um, I went straight to trace, which is at the bottom of that panel. And then I traced and I detached it. So all you just need to do is once you have traced and this detached it, you just move out what you've traced by um, clicking on, on, on the design itself and then um, sliding it out. I don't know how to explain it, um, what I mean by sliding it out. You know how you would um, um, use one finger to press to, to uh, is it left click and then you move stuff on your computer. So that's what I have done. I'm trying to... I, like bring the camera closer to the computer here can you see can you see that it is not that solid color anymore it is now a proper svg so now i can send it to my cameo 4 to cut the design and another thing i did with this was i separated the i saw it first from the lip section so that i could like play around you know with everything and you can see um because the name part was um was like it was on the lip part so it was kind of like really difficult for me to fill it out to like really pick up the design and all of that but i what i had to do was i had to it, it, you have to be patient with this it could be really frustrating especially if you're doing this for the first time but trust me if you follow the steps i've just stated out this that is going to panel click on trace when you get to the trace section click on select trace area you could solid fill or you could outline depending on what you're working with um and then another session there is the threshold so you need to increase the threshold so what i did with mine was i think i increased the the threshold to like i think i increased it to like um like 80 or so um 
you can see here i'm trying to like show you guys all of that um so once i increased the threshold i was able to like despeckle the threshold too and all of that and then traced and then i detached it and then i just sent it to my cameo 4 um on the cameo 4 because i use the automatic blade which i've always you know i did a video talking about the automatic blade it was so easy for me and i've not had any issue with using it um and so it sets the um you know it sets the level for me all i need to do is just pick the type type of vinyl i'm using or type of material i'm using and it would automatically set um everything on my computer and just send it off and you can see my cutter is already cutting it's already cutting the logo for me as long as you have um you know you have done it right on your computer you shouldn't have any problem and you would notice i am not using a cutting mat yes i've never used a cutting mat with my cameo 4 never ever have i used a cutting mat i've always cut straight because i think because of that um the roller section where you could place your vinyl um helps a lot uh yeah so once you cut it out and you slide it out of your cutter then you just weed it out so i'm just weeding it what i do to make it easy for me to weed i always like cut it into two pieces so i am trying to like weed out the i saw it first part first weeding can be so frustrating for me i'm not really um i'm not so i don't think i'm that patient enough to like do this as a full-time job So just read it out and you know you have your logo so if a client sends you their company logo or you know maybe they want their picture on a balloon or they want something just use this format which is the trace section on your um, silhouette studio and you're good to go another thing i made sure was that i did i ensured that the logo wasn't too big because you don't want it too big if it's too big and you place it on your balloon you'll find out that you would have bubbles yeah so try and you know gauge the size of the balloon you're going to be using it for before you place it you know before you cut it out anyway guys thank Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you same time next week. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Um, so also guys, I wouldn't mind if you share ideas of what you would like to see on this channel. I am willing to like, you know, work with whatever you suggest guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.